Welcome back to Psychology of Addiction. It was really interesting how you're talking about the brain scans, kind of reflecting the different types of um, ADHD. I mean, uh, can you definitely see that as almost like a uh, blueprint by which you work with um, other clients being able to, I mean, ideally, I know fMRIs are incredibly expensive to perform, but... They are expensive. So what um, fMRIs are very, very good. What Dr. Amen does is spec scans, which measures blood flow and electricity in the brain. Mm -hmm. And what comes out is like a fingerprint for bipolar or ADD or simple depression or schizophrenia. I mean, you can just see it just clear as day. And he has done about 100,000 of these now. Wow. Yeah. And so they're correlated. And the neat thing is he's made a um, written test that correlates to it. And most written tests I don't have a lot of faith in, but this one tends to be incredibly good. And so for the most part, unless it's a temporal problem or uh, organic brain syndrome, I can usually just by the um, written test tell what part of the brain is and be able to treat it that way. If I need to send them to the Amen Clinic, you're right, it really is expensive, $3,400 for a scan. But if you have a diagnosis that you're really unsure about, um, that's one way to be absolutely sure. Now, we know that uh, substance abuse, it actually has been shown to uh, rewire the functions of the brain. Do you often uh, see a lot of those changes in brain scans? Yes. And what you can do is a before and after and actually see those scans perfectly, <laughs> which is amazing. There's a lot of natural things that can be done to get those scans. Um, one of the things that uh, Dr. Amen has worked on is with EMDR. And you can see the difference between somebody who has a trauma and how their brain looks and then do EMDR and take another scan and energy psychology the same way. You can actually see the difference. People might feel like they're not making progress in counseling sessions. So to actually physically see your results, I think that's just such an interesting thing. And to see the uh, problem that you have as well. In other words, if you um, look at a brain that is drunk, it's horrible. <laughs> you know? yeah. And so it's real easy to pretend that, well, you know, nothing's really hurting me. But you take a look at it, and 40% of the brain in the prefrontal cortex is asleep. And that's your logical uh -huh. that's self your decision making. governor. Yeah, yeah, the decision making. So you aren't making any decision at all. You're just kind of floating around from emotion and instinct. Well, that's all for now. But uh, join us next time and we'll be delving into more information.